అస్సలాం అలైకుమ్ వినో అకార్డింగ్ టు ఫ్యాడ్ ఇస్ లా ఆఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రోమాటిక్ ఇండక్షన్ వెన్ ఓట్ దర్ ఇస్ అ చేంజ్ ఇన్ ద మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ దే విల్ బి అన్ ఇండ్యూస్డ్ ఎలక్ట్రిక్ ఫీల్డ్ వెన్ ఐ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ఫ్యాడ్ ఇస్ లా ఆఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రోమాటిక్ ఇండక్షన్ వెన్ ద టాపిక్ ఇస్ మ్యాక్సిమస్ కరెక్షన్ టు ఆంపియర్ సర్క్యూట్ అల్లా యూ విల్ కమ్ టు నో అబౌట్ దిస్ యాజ్ ఐ ప్రొసీడ్ సో లెట్ మీ స్టార్ట్ విత్ ద మ్యాథమెటికల్ ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్ ఆఫ్ Fad is law of electromagnetic induction. Mathematically, it is written as change in the magnetic flux with time gives rise to an induced electric field. Yes, yes. and uh, here 5p is nothing but the magnetic flux what is this magnetic flux we don't talk about uh, a magnetic field it consists of magnetic field lines hmm? the number of uh, magnetic field lines crossing a given area is uh, referred as magnetic flux so in this case 3 magnetical lines of force are crossing this given area so the magnetic flux is 3 here okay this area mark represents uh, the direction of uh, the magnetic field so by keeping this in mind 5b can be done as b a magnetic field lines crossing a given area got it Now, in the place of 5B, I write this. D by D of, see, I introduce the integral term here. So, I will make certain changes. D is written as such, whereas A is written as DA, the term. When we integrate this, we will get A. According to this equation. fine this is known as faraday's law of electromagnetic induction by keeping the symmetric behavior of nature in mind maxwell said if the change in magnetic field produces electric field then the change in electric field can produce a magnetic field and he named this law as maxwell's law of induction this maxwell's law of induction maxwell's law of induction is a mathematically written as so it is uh, remember this it is too easy to get uh, the mathematical expression of a maxwell's law if you know faraday's law of electromagnetic induction what you need to do is just to replace e with b and the b with e that's it wherever you come across the b it has to be replaced with the e and wherever you see e has to be replaced with the b that's it you see e is replaced with the b is here b is replaced with e so this shows a rate of change of electric flux and here i follow the same thing in place of b i write e that's it so this is a, the mathematical form of a maxwell's law of induction okay now to prove it's a point to prove that changing electric field produces magnetic field he take the example of uh, the charging of a parallel plate capacitor now it won't be wrong if i use this right as maxwell's correction 
you want to take. Take another the example of a parallel plate capacitor. What is this parallel plate capacitor? In the first chapter, that is in the electrostatics, we have studied about it. A capacitor in which two metal plates or two metal sheets are placed side by side, parallel to each other, separated by a small gap. So here, this is one metal sheet, this is another metal sheet. Connected to conducting wires. Okay. So here, suppose I pass the current IC through this, then it gets a positive charge. And due to electrostatic induction. It receives the negative charges. This is how the parallel plate capacitor is charged by passing electric current. Now I am going to apply ampere circuit law to get the magnetic field here. Okay, ampere is circuit law is applied to our situation. Now whenever we apply ampere circuit law. So we need to take an ampere and loop. So see the ampere and loop here is, is this. I take this one as an ampere loop. So this ampere loop cover the surface. Okay. The L this IC is the ampere loop. What is this? This ampere loop. We know we can able to apply ampere circuit only to a conductor which is enclosed by ampere loop. Okay. Only this portion which carries the current. To which we can apply can able to apply ampere circuit law. So what does it say? How it can be written mathematically? See? Line into graph VDL is equal to mu naught times the current enclosed by the loop. So, what is the current enclosed by the loop? It is IC in, in this case, conduction current. What is this conduction current? I am repeatedly using this term. We know very well whenever charges flow through a conductor, it uh, constitutes electric current. But there is a, a condition. What is that condition? These charges have to flow in a particular direction. If the charges move in random direction, then they will not constitute electric current. Remember this. Suppose this is a, a charge. It uh, moves in a particular direction. Then it will constitute uh, an electric current. So suppose uh, I name this charge as Q. Then rate of Flow of charges, flow of charges in a given time uses current. This can be referred as conduction current. Okay, and then this is equation number one for convenience. Now, I'll take another situation. The same power plate capacitor I take, but I'm going to change the shape of ampere loop. See. This parallel plate capacitor, the same parallel plate capacitor, okay, connected to two wires through which we pass conduction current which charges this capacitor. Okay. Well, see, I'm going to apply amperes or circuit law to this. For that, I should draw ampere loop. 
is a dampened loop. But now I am changing its a shape. I take it to appear like a a balloon. See? Yeah. This is the, the surface of this uh, ampere loop which covers uh, this portion. Okay. Now if you look at here, the boundary, boundary of this surface, I name this one as a yes one. So it is not L here, it is yes one. So the surface integral of a B. I said a line integral, it's not line integral, it is surface integral. And this surface is yes one. Here I name this surface as S2. Okay. Now if you compare the, the boundaries of S1 and S2, you will find that both have the same boundary. This is the boundary. There also the same boundary is kept as such. But the shape of the ampere loop has changed. Now we have modified it to appear something like this. Earlier it was circular in shape but now it has changed into a balloon so i can say this is a, a balloon shaped balloon shaped ampere loop Shape ampere loop. Okay. Let's say this is a positive charge, this is a negative charge. Now I'm going to apply ampere circuital to this. Ampere circuital. Ampere circuital does not depend on the shape of uh, the ampere loop. No, we know that. Very well. If it is so, it should not uh, modify this integral. But here, what we get is this: the surface integral of BDL is equal to mu naught times the current uh, present in this gap. Here, I forgot to mention that what is present in this gap between uh, the plate. Here. The gap which is present between the plate is uh, filled with some uh, sort of a non-conducting material. It may be air. Air do not conduct, isn't it? In normal situation or normal condition, air is a non-conductor. So here, there is no current present. So, IC is taken as zero. The next step, what do you get? Is nothing like this. I will write it here. Get surface integral of BDL is equal to 0. It is taken as equation number 2. If we compare 1 and 2, we will find the term present on the right hand side is not same. Now, the, these equations show inconsistency. To resolve this inconsistency, Maxwell introduced a term called as displacement current. He said, here in the gap between the plates, electric field is present due to the charged plates. But we know uh, when a charge is given to some object, that charged object produces electric field around it. And uh, he said that uh, this uh, electric field present between these two plates, if it uh, changes with the time, then it will produce a magnetic field. And here, to do the variation of this uh, electric field, a kind of current is uh, produced here. He named that current as induced, uh, I am sorry, Displacement current represents the letter I D. So here he has introduced a new term called as a I D. 
Uh, to get the, the expression for displacement current, I start with Gauss law. Uh, here I give the title as displacement current, which is represented letter I D. Right. To get uh, the expression for idea, I start with the Gauss law. Now we have studied the Gauss law in electrostatics. Hmm? What does it say? It relates the uh, magnetic and uh, electric flux with the charge enclosed by the Gaussian surface. So, phi e is equal to 1 up upon epsilon naught times the charge enclosed. Here q is the charge enclosed by the Gaussian surface. Okay. Now, the change in electric, here we are talking about the changing electric field. So, to get the changing electric field, I differentiate this with respect to time. So, on uh, differentiation, I get this d phi e upon dt equals to this is a, a constant, so it is kept as a we cannot differentiate it. So we can differentiate uh, d uh, q can be differentiated with respect to time dq upon dt. So after that, I'm going to keep uh, this on one side and the main terms are taken to the other side. So dq upon the dt is kept as such. This term when taken to the other side, phi uh, this uh, epsilon naught which is present in denominator will go to numerator. So not d phi e upon dt. This is what uh, we get. Here already I have told you here, rate of change of uh, rate of flow of charges through a conductor is referred as current. And here, this current, as I told you earlier, is nothing but displacement current. He named this current as displacement current. So, the next step we get at this ID, the displacement current is equal to epsilon naught d 5 e upon dt. This is a new thing he introduced to resolve this inconsistency. Okay. I named this as the equation number 3 for my convenience. Now, see, Maxwell's connection to Ampere's a circuital law to Ampere's circuital law. Here, Ampere's circuital law is this. What is it written here? This Ampere's circuital law. Surface interval of BD L is equal to V0 times I. This is the Ampere circuital law. So what he did, he replaced I with the IC plus ID. It is replaced with IC plus ID. Here IC stands for conduction current and ID stands for displacement current. Okay, what are you going to write here, which represents the surface integral. Now, we know the value of ID. Now, from equation number 3, I am going to substitute the value of ID. So, for better identification, I name this equation as equation number 4. So, 3 is substituted in 4. 3 in 4. So, what I will get if I do so, I will get this. Graph BDL is equal to U naught. So, this term is multiplied each component present within the bracket. 
so mu naught i c plus mu naught the face of i d write its value that is mu naught d phi e upon d t so this is the, the final expression and here this term is referred as Maxwell's correction term. Correction term. So from this, one can easily understand that the changing electric field can produce a magnetic field. This is how electromagnetic waves exist in empty space where there is no charge okay i hope other videos is useful if you have any kind of doubt relevant to the topic kindly put your question in the comment section thanks for watching